you guys today we're taking a look at this gx345 this one has 869 hours showing on the meter it's got a 20 horsepower this is an fd611 v liquid cooled kawasaki engine battery's a couple years old hood's in good shape don't see any don't see any problems with the hood front bumper is a john deere bumper not an aftermarket we got a little little crack right there but uh this has a 54 inch deck on it the front draft arm needs to be adjusted it's up just a little bit might have been how the previous owner wanted it uh, because he has a mulcher insert uh, that can easily be taken out uh, if you don't want the mulcher insert in um so this has a liquid cooled Kawasaki. This is one of the earlier model GX 345s, so it does not have differential lock like the later model GX 345s. Going over the operator station, we've got your headlight paddle. Here's your PTO engagement paddle, so that turns your mower deck on. If you want to mow in reverse before you start backing up, you have to pull out on that. Here's your choke, throttle. We've got tilt steering wheel. On this side, we've got a cubby to put all your stuff and the previous owner had a lot of stuff. Down back here is your fuel tank. We've got these adjustable rubber uh, springs to lighten the ride. Previous owner did something bad here. They uh, cut the uh, connector for the seat safety switch and uh, tied the two wires together so the seat safety switch is disengaged. Over here, we've got another open cubby and a cup holder with multiple sizes, depending on how big your can or cup is. On this side, we've got, uh, see, we already went over tilt. This is your deck lift and lower lever. Here's cruise control set. Here's your ignition switch, parking brake set. Here's your deck height setting. The deck needs to be all the way up for you to turn this um, to where, what height setting you want it at. And then you lower the deck down to that height. Over here's your Brake, forward pedal, and reverse. Previous owner traded two machines in on a on one newer one. Uh, previous owner um, seemed to take care of his equipment. He said that he recently had the engine rebuilt by a John Deere dealer. We do not have uh, the documentation for that, uh, but that is what the previous owner stated. Uh, previous owner also stated that the uh, dealership had said that his steering valve was uh, going out, so we replaced the steering valve in this machine just to be on the safe side. Other than that, this machine starts right up, goes forward and reverse. The mower deck comes on as it should. Uh, we haven't had a chance to go through this machine thoroughly. We have not serviced it, uh, but uh, uh, by all accounts, this machine should be ready to go to work. If you have any questions about it, if you would like to take it for a test spin or take it home, feel free to reach out to us anytime. All of our contact details are in the information below. Hey, thanks for watching.